Cuba is an important country not just because the Pope came here and because the last Pope came here and because the Pope before that came here. Cuba is a country that is disputed territory, that is uh, opening itself up to some new reforms. But Cuba, most of all, is at the heart of Latin America. Como, como llegamos. Notre Dame is the host of the conference because of the incredible resources that it has in its faculty and in its students to be able to talk about the complex issues that we're examining here today. Notre Dame's traditional resources in theology, its traditional resources and strengths in the study and understanding of Latin America, its traditional sources and strength in the studying of Latino communities in the United States, its traditional resources and understanding the United States government and the United States politics all come together to say we should be a place that facilitates the best thinking about what the impact of Pope Francis is in the Americas, understanding the full context of what that might mean, both in Latin America, in the United States, and also for the rest of the world. Since my freshman year, I've been interested in um, Latin American theology. This conference fits perfectly with what I've been studying, um, but it, it deepens it and it makes it more specific, looking more specifically at Cuba um, as as a way to help understand the rest of Latin America. So when I first heard about the class, I was, I was excited about the fact not only that, that we would be able to, to have an immersion in, in Cuba, but uh, the fact that we'd really be able to, to learn about Cuban culture, learn about the people. It has definitely surpassed my expectations. We refer to Latinos as a whole, but I have found several differences between our cultures. And I think it's so interesting and enthralling, and I, and I just want to learn more. I think it's been an exciting experience for them. Some of them have been abroad before. Some are making their first trip to Latin America. I hope that their eyes are opened up. I hope that they see things that they didn't expect to see. I hope that they get to talk to the Cuban youth and learn something from them. I hope they learn about U.S.-Cuban relationships. I hope they learn about the global expanse of the church. And I hope that they develop images that stay with them for their whole life and maybe help them discern a vocation or a new direction for their lives.